as anyone who has followed my videos knows, I've stated that there was a very loud and startling gunshot at approximately Zapruder Frame 285, which startled the passengers in President Kennedy's limousine. No one seems to deny that these reactions occurred, but I've had a lot of people claim that they were caused by the limo slowing down and throwing these people forward. Dr. Luis Alvarez did a frame-by-frame -frame analysis of the film and determined that the slowdown began well after frame 292. But, brilliant as he was, Alvarez was only human and he certainly wasn't perfect, so maybe he was just mistaken. Thanks to the excellent work of Mr. Anthony Davison of New Zealand, I think we now have a way to actually see when that slowdown occurred. He created a panoramic view of the Zapruder film, which gives us a much better perspective on the velocity of the limo. Watch closely and see if you can spot the slowdown. Here it is again. The slowdown is actually quite easy to see. Let's run it one more time. Watch closely. There it is. Did you see it? Now let's try an experiment. Remember, the limo passengers began to react at frame 290 to 292. So what I will do is cut off Mr. Davison's video at frame 293. Now let's see if we can still spot a slowdown. Let's try it again. Do you see a slowdown? We don't see the limo slow down because it didn't slow down until after frame 293 and after the limo passengers were ducking, spinning around, etc. Notice that at frame 293, Jackie has just begun to duck. But the slowdown doesn't begin until after her head is all the way down. Dr. Alvarez may not have been the greatest when it came to separating sirens from rifle shots, but he definitely nailed this one. The limo passengers could not have been reacting to Bill Greer slamming on the brakes, because their reactions preceded the slowdown of the limousine. The overwhelming consensus of the witnesses that day was that there were a pair of closely bunched shots at the very end of the attack. One of them was fired at about frame 285 or slightly after, and the other was at frame 313. Those shots were much too close together for Lee Harvey Oswald to have fired both. Thanks for listening, folks.